Great, thank you for being here this morning ahead of a uh, long weekend um, and a very important suite of new road safety advertising that we are launching uh, today with SAPOL. Uh, last year, 18% of all people that died on our roads uh, tested positive for drugs. It's a shocking figure and it demonstrates unequivocally the impact that using drugs and choosing to get behind the wheel has for not only your safety, but for the safety of other road users. Uh, drugs don't only, of, of their own, inhibit your ability to drive safely, but they also uh, are more likely to lead to drivers not wearing their seatbelts, to drivers speeding, uh, to drivers doing and undertaking dangerous um, overtaking on our roads. And it just uh, it's mind-blowing that with the statistic of nearly 20% of people that die on our roads consuming drugs, that people are still choosing to take this risk. Uh, since coming to government, uh, we have uh, brought new laws in that uh, take away someone's licence immediately if they're caught on a roadside um, drug test. Uh, we have uh, also increased the penalties for a suite of uh, traffic offences, uh, particularly around those people that are driving dangerously and putting others at risk. But the launch of today's campaign is also a bit different. Uh, we don't want people to be fined. We don't want people to be losing their licence. And uh, without uh, any equivocation, we don't want people hurting themselves or others on our roads because of the choices that they make. These ads are about a harsh, a confronting, a graphic representation of what can happen and is happening on our roads when people are using drugs and driving. Not only will you lose your licence, not only can you face jail time now, but you could be living with the lifelong consequences of harming yourself or someone else. Uh, the ad that you saw a moment ago, and that we're now launching today, uh, where a, a drug user, inhibited on our roads, um, crashes into the rear of another vehicle, uh, is really confronting. And what is also really confronting for me is just at the end of that ad, you'll notice the driver of the other vehicle, the innocent driver of the other vehicle, getting out of their car, a mum, and going into the back seat to attend to the cries of their child. These are real world situations. They are situations that are informed and re, um, remade with the expert advice of our road crash experts at Safehold. So this can't be any more real, this can't be any more frank, it can't be any more confronting. Uh, we want people to be alive, we want others to be alive. And when 20% of people or thereabouts are dying on our roads every year with drugs in their system, that is a massive chipping away at trauma that we can make immediately for us. Thank you, Minister. Um, as the Minister said, we're here to launch uh, the drug driving uh, campaign or, or advertising campaign this morning. Police do not condone the taking of illicit drugs in any way, shape or form. But unfortunately, the reality is, is that people are taking drugs, getting behind the wheel, and they are driving. As the minister said, around about 20% of the people who lost their life last year in South Australia had drugs in their system. About 111 serious injuries were caused last year or suffered last year with people who had drugs in their system. They're unacceptable numbers. So this campaign goes to strike at the heart of those people who think that they want to take drugs and drive, put themselves and other road users at significant risk. Our attitudinal research around this campaign indicated that people who take methamphetamine think they're more alert, think they're more responsive, and think they're probably better drivers than what they are. People who take cannabis, um, they think are more cautious and don't take risks. At the end of the day, these people are putting people in danger and they will kill themselves 
or they will kill other innocent road users. There's nothing cautious or careful about the way that they drive or the way they think they drive. So this is a message to those people who take or who take illicit drugs and think it's okay to take illicit drugs and get behind the wheel of a car. You will kill yourself or you will kill or seriously injure other road users. There might be people out there that think this ad's not gonna be applicable to them because they don't take illicit drugs. But do you wanna be the family of someone who's been killed by an illicit drug user who's got behind the wheel and driven? Most people will know people who take illicit drugs. My message to them is get in their ear, tell them A, not to take drugs and B, not to get behind the wheel if they think they're going to, to, to take drugs and drive. It'll save their lives, it'll save other people's lives on the road. We are unashamedly making this particular ad campaign as real as possible. People need to understand the consequences of drug driving. It's significant. Please don't do it. Are you noticing more people on the roads nowadays who are under the influence of drugs? Or has it stayed the same? Look, South Australia Police um, have uh, a strong regime of drug and uh, drink drive testing throughout the year. Last year we um, detected over 5,500 people uh, driving with uh, prescribed drugs in their system. So we know it's, it's prevalent uh, and we'll be out there regularly at all times of the day and night, anywhere, anytime, testing people for, for drug driving and also testing people for drink driving. Just how important are these ads in knocking down those perceptions um, among drug you know, drivers that taking drugs make them more alert on the road? Uh, it's a, it sends a really strong message. Um, and as you can see, uh, particularly one of the ads where the uh, collision occurs as a result of someone on drugs, these are the sort of things that people need to understand that actually happen. These are the sort of things that need people uh, to resonate in their minds so they change their behaviour. They're not cautious, even though they think they might be. They're not more alert, even though they think they might be. The police see every day the consequences of drug driving. These campaigns need to trigger in, them, in their minds the consequences of what actions they're taking. Do you think it will? I'm very confident it will. I'm very confident it will. Police are out there every day, as I said, doing drug testing. Advertising campaigns are one of those mediums that we use. Uh, to continue the education message and to assist with our enforcement activities. So I'm confident they will. I think when people realise the consequences of what drug driving can do, when people realise the consequences of the carnage that drug drivers cause on the road, uh, my message to illicit drug users who decide to drive is don't do it. My message to people who know illicit drug drivers and, and, and drive, tell them not to do it. Simple as that. And these ads should serve as a reminder for people to do that. And I'm sure you've done the research, just how important are these ads in your marketing campaign to deterring drivers from doing the wrong thing? Oh, they're, they're very important. Um, and as I've just said, um, marketing campaigns and ads like this are one of the suite of, of um, strategies that we use to, to target all manner of uh, road safety messaging. Um, this just happens to be drug driving. So these coincide with um, our enforcement activity on the road. Um, it gets pushed into social media arena, it gets um, out onto billboards, onto buses, um, onto TV. Uh, so the message is, is getting out there. So as part of the, the broader suite of, of strategies that we use, they're a really important part of that. You said 5,500 people were caught with drugs in their system last year. Are you seeing an increase this year that's prompted this campaign? Uh, look, it's not, it's not really about an increase. Uh, uh, no drug driving is is good, so five and a half thousand last year doesn't um, make us do a campaign like this. Um, any drug driving's bad. So it's a, it's a little early in 2023 to get a, a, a good indication of whether we're going to be more or less than what we did last year. But suffice to say, the, that number in, in many ways doesn't matter. The fact that people are out there drug driving at any time, uh, regardless of that number, is, is what we want to reduce. So. Um, you know, we'll, we'll keep running out these ads to target those particular type of driving offences. We had a tragic... Just hold off for one question, guys. Just wait for this plane.
Sorry, didn't ask. Uh, the penalties for drug driving at the moment we think are appropriate. Um, we're not looking at changing the penalties for drug driving or agitating for a penalty change to drug driving. Um, at the end of the day, and I think the Minister uh, has indicated just earlier, we don't want to fine people. We don't want to send people to court for drug driving. We just want people to stop drug driving. So the penalty regime is there, but we're not looking to change that. Um, this is not about that. This is just getting the message out about the danger of drug driving and what carnage it can cause on our roads. We saw the huge road death toll last year. How are you feeling about the behaviour of South, South Australian drivers this year so far? Um, it's a really pleasing start to the year, to, to be honest. We're um, you know, over 50% less uh, uh, road fatalities this year than last year. Um, but it's not a time to become complacent um, about road use. It's not a time to become complacent about uh, thinking you can get behind the wheel and, and drive with drugs in your system. It's not time to get complacent about not wearing your seatbelt or speeding. We need to um, keep the South Australian motoring public um, aware of dangers on our roads, keep them uh, conscious of continuing to drive respectively, share the road, make good decisions, be responsible behind the wheel. So yeah, we, we've We've had a pleasing start to the year in, in raw numbers of how many lives we've lost on the road, but we shouldn't sit back on that. Uh, this is an ongoing challenge that we have and uh, we need to continue to work at this. Uh, we want to have no deaths on our roads at all. So ads campaigns like this go some way to, to bringing that number down to zero. And heading into a long weekend, what's your message for South Australian drivers? Yes, it is a long weekend this weekend, and um, as we say most weekends, we want all South Australian road users to, to ha have a great weekend and, and get where they want to go safely and, and get home safely. Um, this ad campaign, just before the long weekend, should start to serve as a reminder that police are going to be out there in number again this long weekend, drink and, and drug drive testing, um, detecting speeding offences, etc. So, there's a very good chance that over the weekend, if you're committing road traffic offences or your behaviour on the road draws the attention of the police, that you'll be stopped and spoken to by police um, and either educated or will be given a fine or sent to court for your driving behaviour. So, um, yep, it's, it's a really important uh, to note that the police will be out, um, as we are every day, but particularly on long weekends when we know there's more traffic around. It's a, it's a beautiful weekend coming up. It's uh, sunny, sunny, warm. There'll be lots of people out and about. And uh, my message to all the road users this long weekend, no matter where you're travelling, please travel safely, uh, share the road responsibly and just be careful. And was this ad campaign strategically launched just ahead of the long weekend? Uh, not necessarily strategically launched, but uh, it's, it's a good time to launch it uh, as well. Um, we need to, need to have launched a drug driving campaign. Um, it could have happened next week or it could have happened before Easter. It just has, so happens that it, it's ready. The campaign's ready for launch now and there happens to be a long weekend. So maybe fortuitously for us, um, that's the way it's worked. But it's, uh, it's, it's good that it is uh, this weekend to just reinforce that message to people who are using the roads this weekend. And I suppose those that might be tempted to do the wrong thing this uh, long weekend, I suppose, what's the impact that it has on family and friends, that broader community? Oh, it's, um, it's immeasurable, it's um, completely tragic for, for people involved in, in road trauma. Uh, you would have seen in the latter part of last year some very high profile road trauma incidents and you can see the sentiments uh, that were portrayed by the victims' families and how that affected the wider community. Um, it goes without saying that if there's, there's road trauma, um, it affects both the driver, the other people involved in the collision, friends, family, sporting teams, community groups. It, it has a far reaching effect. So uh, drug drivers, drink drivers, speeding drivers, people not wearing their seatbelt, people driving dangerously have to be really aware of the consequences of their actions and how, how much of a ripple effect that has just outside of their world.